Let's apply triple spherical coordinates to calculate triple integrals by transforming them to the spherical coordinates. Let's consider a simple case when the solid named spherical wedge by spherical wedge or spherical element of the volume we mean a solid enclosed between six surfaces of the following form between two spheres sphere of radius rho 1 and rho 2 between two vertical half planes t equals to theta 1 t equals to theta 2 naps of two circular cones in this case the triple integral of the function over the solid g can be calculated by replacing x, y, z, their spherical values, and multiplying the value of the function to the Jacobian of the trans, uh, transformation of spherical coordinates, and limits, chain, iterated integral limits according to the sphere and vertical half plane and two circular cones. Let me rewrite this formula one more time. So what we do, we change x, y, z by spherical values, multiply by the Jacobian in the spherical coordinates transformation, and limits according to the rho phi theta conditions. So rho change between a and b, that means between two spheres, theta change between alpha and beta, which is two vertical planes and phi changing from C to D. Let's consider the following example where the function is symmetric, it is spherical symmetric function with in the argument e to the power x square plus y square plus z square to the power 3 by 2. And the integration region is the part of the unit ball of the radius 1 in the first octant. As you can see in the picture, what we do, we shift to the spherical coordinates and we take into account that x square plus y square plus z square equals to rho square. Now, main idea how to define the limits for rho and phi and theta. And as you can see, the rho should be from origin to the surface, which is the sphere of radius 1. So that means rho will be changing from 0 to 1. And the another variable, phi, will be from 0 to pi over 2, because when we touch the z-axis, rho phi will be 0, and we change until the xy plane, phi will be pi over 2. Theta, because of the first quadrant, will be from 0 to pi over 2. Then according to these limits, we can write the integral in spherical coordinates and change x, y, z with their spherical values and multiply by Jacobian, which is rho square sine phi. So we arrive to the triple iterated integrals in spherical coordinates. So next step uh, will be the method how to calculate this integral. So this three iterated integrals we can integrate integrate separately because uh, three functions each of them doesn't depend on other variables okay i write this integral as three separate integrals first integral by theta second integral by phi, third integral by rho. First, uh, 
I do integration of the first two integrals. They are very simple. The third one I will calculate later as I bring it without any changes so far. And first, theta uh, limit, if you substitute, you get pi over 2. Second one, just 1. So we got this, uh, the formula. So here, in the last integral, I do substitution u equals to rho to the power 3. And if I find the limits for u, when rho 0, u is 0. When rho is 1, u is 1. Then uh, I change du with the 3 rho squared d rho. In that case, 1 over 3 du I will get in the integral. Then just integrate u, it will be u, pi over 6 because of 1 over 3. Then answer is pi over 6 times e minus 1.